This is an eighth grade Spanish class in Brooklyn Friends School in New York. The students in this class are between 13 and 14 years old, and there are about 15 in each class. They all speak English, but in this class, the students are learning how to speak Spanish. In most schools in the U.S., students have to learn a foreign language, but they don't have to choose Spanish. In this school, for example, students can also learn French, <laughs> Italian, and even Latin. Whatever language they choose, they will have four to five 55-minute periods every week, and they'll have to take a test at the end of the year. All right. Today, these students are learning about verbs. The teacher explains the grammar, and the students have to take notes and answer questions. Discipline in class is very strict. The teacher doesn't allow chatting, and the students have to follow the rules. Technology is becoming more popular in American classrooms. This teacher is using an interactive whiteboard to practice vocabulary and pronunciation. Most students enjoy learning a new language. This is Vanessa Ayler, a Spanish teacher at Brooklyn Friends School. Hi, my name is Vanessa. I'm a Spanish teacher at Brooklyn Friends School in New York City. I love working with the students. They love language. I like being there to see them experience new things about the language for the first time. Um, they are just so bright and they have so much to share. and They're really creative and they, I think, enjoy my experiences with the language as well. So that not only allows me to relive uh, my experiences, but I get to see it again kind of for the first time through their eyes. This is an English lesson at the New York Language Center. It's a private language school in Midtown Manhattan. Um, I like to watch the news because I like to be The classes here are quite small. There are usually about eight students in each class. Oh, that's true. Most of the students here are adults, and they come from a lot of different countries. You don't know television very well. Because these students are adults, discipline isn't a big problem. Too dramatic. Government. So just like this. The teacher and the students try to have fun. Maybe your, maybe your partner can help you, okay? And a lot of the activities involve working and speaking in pairs and groups. Sure. The teacher must be active, enthusiastic, and hardworking. This is Kelsey McGuff. She's an English teacher at the New York Language Center. She explains what teaching English is like. Hi, I'm Kelsey, and I'm an English teacher in New York City. The best part about teaching English is interacting with people. Um, I really love hearing the conversations that happen in class, and I really love learning about other people's countries. Our students come from all over. Uh, we have students from Asia, from the Middle East, from Central Asia, from Africa, from Europe, from Central and South America, so it's, it's a really nice mix here at the school. So our students come to this school for a whole variety of reasons. Some people come here because they're interested in starting a business, uh, and for that business they need uh, to know English. Um, a lot of other people come to this school because they want to go to an American university at some point. Um, and a lot of people just come here for vacation. They come for a couple of weeks and then uh, study at our school while they explore New York City and uh, just try to improve their English while they're here. Sometimes it's difficult to motivate the students. We have a couple of students who are here for a very long time, maybe a year, while they're on, uh, while they have a student visa, and uh, sometimes they they get a little bit um, 
they get a little bit lazy. <laughs> so sometimes it's difficult to motivate those students to keep on trying to improve and keep studying English. Um, I like to play a lot of games in class. Uh, we do a lot of interactive activities, a lot of activities where uh, people are moving around and getting to know each other more. I also uh, like to take my students out into the city. So um, right now I'm teaching a class that's called Explore New York. And every week we go on a different trip and we go uh, to a different place in New York City. It's not a tourist place. Uh, we go out and we uh, go to Harlem or we go to um, different neighborhoods uh, outside in the outer boroughs. Um, and that's really fun because they get to see different parts of the city. So the best piece of advice I can give uh, for someone who's trying to learn English is to not be afraid of speaking with people in English. Um, people should not be afraid of making mistakes and they should just get out there, talk to people, make conversations and have fun. The weather, perfect. Teaching English in a private class is very different to teaching Spanish in a high school. But both involve working hard and having fun. Maybe you can watch the comedy and feel better.